Alright folks, this is going to Spy, the spy will come back to you live for Star Wars Knights for Old Public. As if we uh, come to the conclusion, we not only found, we not only discover how exactly uh, the frags and how the frags and sharks and the cell cap down in the red drive rip station went insane, but also discovering how it began. The storm out there awoken something uh, that is a guardian of the culto, a frightened mother shark, that causes it to set out a cycles, signal wave call to the frightened sharks, making them come to its mother. And as for the cell calf, it made them go insane and started killing everyone. Because not only did this fraction shark did this, but because it was being influenced by the star map through the same way how the great dragon back in Tatooine was influenced by the star map, and how the Shadowlands growth increases the creatures because of the star map at Kashyyyk. So now we've just got back after getting arrested from by the Manon security team and the, Manon, the judges on Manon uh, heard about, knows about what I did and tells us about it being some kind type of a guardian and whatnot. But not only is this to be a great start of a relationship between the Republic and the Selkaf, but they have we have earned uh, that I have earned their respect so now just got finished talking with Nyko telling them about the, the mercenaries and whatnot and he could have reported this to the the judges on and on have the Republic stationed out but he realizes the truth about the Sith that they are ruthless so he's going to do so he know. So we told him that the rift station was destroyed, and the fact that the Republic won't be able to do any of that, and he understands that. So he not only is he going to be helping us at the Republic, but knows that the Civ needs to be defeated, otherwise all life as we know it on the galaxy would be, well, to be destroyed by terrorists. Now, let's get back to what we know. The targets that the Generod agent t told me about is going to be the targets that's on Tatooine and Kashyyyk. Our, tar our next stop is going to be going to Tatooine since that place, since the desert is going to be a good place to get started knowing the place. So, before we leave Manon, we're going to need to get some supplies that I noticed that were low on, on some things of supply of the computer spikes and the repair parts. So, Basla and HK come out. And Basla, while I was at the Harad Rift Station, I was able to find a Jedi Master Robe. So, uh, you will be able to wear it like a true master. Okay, let's get you a skill up. Alright, seems to be good to go right here. And there's also the matter of finding Carved Sun Dustle on Corbin. So, right after we deal with the targets and reporting them to the Generod agents. 
now folks, the reason why I am going to be doing this is that I need to figure out more about this society that this agent is in and why is he uh, keep having me taking targets and what is their real purpose and whatnot. And to learn more about their society so that when the time comes, I'll stop. Alright. And like I said, folks, uh, several times, and I'm going to be saying this once, this character of mine is going to be a hero, okay? He's not going to turn to the dark side like how and can was twisted into the dark side by the Chancellor because of how he knows Anakin's past and about his mother. No, this character is going to remain true to who he is. Alright. So let's say get the Weber supplies. Hey Trevor, how's it going? She walked a paita can teach on a super nibo. Pun muri ras nibo poi wanga. Tony Dwama G. Human act in Tinkatune. Ah, glad to hear it. Hey, this stuff's all for the Republic Embassy, so can you just spill it to them? Kakin cha no wabagaon. Bagwa shon kotimachi tone. Hmm. Seems to make things start going business here. Don't worry. Don't worry. We bring in enough evidence for the Manan to stay on the lookout about the surf. Alright, Tarek, let's see what do you have for stock before I head out. Uh, repair parts. Good. Can rip this one. Mm, get rid of the desert ray sculpt lights. Them. There's another store I want to go to before we head out. Well, let's get you guys level up. There you go, Joey. It seems to me your master boss defeats has been Master Carf. 
And don't worry, as soon as we deal with our situations, what the Gerard HM wants me to do, then we'll go looking for your son at Corban. I promise you that much. Oh, you're tall. Yeah, I'm really sorry about that, but... So I promise I'll be looking back on your inventory again. It may be the last time to do so. So let's see that inventory of yours. That's good to hear, Yorto. Awesome to hear. Take those. All right. Thanks, your toll. Pleasure to do business with you. Oh, so these two are having a conversation. For us and come help us stop the sins. I guess you realize this was what we're coming out of it. Yeah, that's right, Sonny. The Sith are the greatest evil to hit the galaxy since, well, the Mandalorians. And they're the worst thing since Exar Kukun, blah, 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 etc., etc., etc. Okay, old man, you lost me. Are you trying to make a point? Look, everybody always figures the time they live in is the most epic. Most important age to end all ages. But tyrants and heroes rise and fall, and historians sort out the pieces. 
I, I don't understand, Jolie. Are you saying that what we're doing is this important? Malik is a tyrant who should be stopped. If he conquers the galaxy, we're in for a couple of rough centuries. Eventually, it'll come around again. But I'd rather not wait that long. So we do what we have to do. We try to stop the Sith. But don't start th thinking this war. Your war is more important than any other war just because you're in it. That's an interesting theory, but I don't buy it. The Republic yeah. stands for something. It stood for something for 15,000 years. And if it falls, everything will change forever. You believe whatever you need to get through this, Sonny. The bottom line is we both want to stop Malik. So let's not get hung up on the details. Let's just get back to stopping him. I agree, Jolie. Alright. Whether or not what we're doing is, an, is important or not, what matters is that we would not need to start Malag from doing the worst conditions of the possibility scenarios. Anderson mission is your turn. Alright. All right. That should be good enough for your mission, so. Jolan. Sure, let's play. I got time to spare. I'm looking for that rematch that we have, but unlike last time, I got new cards to test out, so let's get this moving. Must be, might be the best deck I got here so far. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't even use a Pasa card. I didn't mean to press that, damn it. Oh well. Mm. 
Not this time. Stand. What? Bullshit. Oh, no, no. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, let's play. The last round was bullshit, so let's try this again. something. That's all for now. Maybe we'll come back for another game. Alright. Thanks. Hmm. A nice view of the part of the city. Thank <laughs> you. 
merchant. We'll see what you got in your provisions today. I'd like to see your inventory. Thank you. Alrighty. Alright, that should be good enough on the computer spikes. So bar, let's get you a level up. I bet the young hog. And we're going to plot a course to Tatooine. And then after that, it's Kashyyyk. And then we're pouring the target and XC exactly of the drug's real purpose and why he sent us to these targets. hear more about the Mandalorian war stories about of yours. We fought against the Republic forces for some time over the course of many battles. At the start, they were not much of a threat to speak of. But once the Jedi Revan took charge, things began to turn against us. The Republic fleets began to use more than just basic tactics. Feints, counterattacks, mass deceptions. Revan was a genius on the field. Is, Revan is abandoned so? worlds of their defenders so that others would be too fortified to strike and was willing to make sacrifices in order to advance goals. And in the end, Revan proved too much for us. <sighs> okay then, Kenders. If Revan had not stopped you, then someone else would have. There was no one else. The entire Republic had committed its forces behind Revan. The Sith had retreated back to their empire, and there were none else strong enough to challenge us. It looked like the entire galaxy was within our grasp. I still remember that final battle in the skies above Malachor V. Malachor V? The two fleets filling the space around it, outshining the stars. What happened in that battle? It was not your ships, or your men, or your vaunted fight for freedom that won this, the final battle of the war. It was by the actions of one person, the Jedi Revan, that you prevailed. His strategies and tactics defeated the best of us. Even Mandalore himself was taken aback by the ferocity of his attacks, the tenacity of his defenses, and the subtleties of his plans. He fought us to a standstill, and then began pushing back. We really didn't have a chance. Revan could have been so much more if he hadn't turned to the Sith Lord, but I guess things turned out this way. So why did you, didn't you retreat? It was what we had wanted all along, in a way. We wanted to fight the best, in a battle that would be remembered for centuries. And we did. But you and lost? Revan won. I don't hold a grudge against Revan, and neither do any of my people. It was the greatest moment of my life to be in that battle. 
If Revan had been a Mandalorian, nothing in the galaxy would have stopped us. But wishing for the past to be different is useless. Better look to the future, as we should now. Yes. We'll talk more later, I think. Is there something else you want to know? Nothing right now, Kenders. Perhaps I'll ask more of your war stories. Your choice. I'm here if you want something done right. It was very interesting. Revan could have been a whole lot more eh, if he hadn't turned to the dark side, if he was a genius on the battlefield. Revan, uh, missions, blades are complete now. Alright, the carps blaster is almost done. Julie, I think it's time to resume our conversation. So what do you think of Sundry's verdict? Innocent. I don't know what to make of it to tell the truth. Do you think justice has been done? Yes, of course. I see. I am not so sure. If he did kill that woman, Sundry's going to have to live with that on his conscience. I'm pretty sure he would have. He's her death in his mind, well... Sunry was a good man once. I only hope that is still the case. I enjoyed his company. Ugh, I don't want to talk about this anymore. My jaw aches. <laughs> yeah. Well, don't worry, Jolie. I know I did the right thing by releasing him, by getting him to be innocent. But I know he's going to have to learn of what he had to do. He'll do what you had to do, be far away. Get alive with his wife. Got something on your mind. So, what do you really know about the Sith? Bad, bad men. Women too, to be fair. You look around you, Jolie. You know damn well no more than what you just play on. So you must know more than that. Oh, indeed. They make a fine sandwich also. But don't tell the Jedi Council I said that. You're being elusive on the purpose? <sighs> and just what gave you the impression that I know anything more about the Sith than you do? Given your age, and you fought them before? You said you fought them in the war anyway. Oh, that's right. Damn the years of a young. <laughs> I was expecting you to be your usual inattentive self when I mentioned that. So it's true, yes. I fought plenty of Sith, and that was during the time of Exar Kun. Exar Kun. Oh, Forty years ago now. Has it been that long? Who exactly is this Exar Kun? I haven't known much about him, or even read about him, of late. Uh, Exar was a Jedi who was corrupted by ghosts of the old Sith, or so they say. He attempted to conquer the Republic and create a new golden age of the Sith. And he was killed? Better to say he was defeated, but essentially, yes. The victory did not come easily, however. But, Joey, are these the same Sith that we're fighting now? No, no, of course not. The Sith have come and gone for ages. They were not called the Sith many thousands of years ago, perhaps. But the dark side was always present, without a doubt. Oh, sure, occasionally the light side comes close to vanquishing the dark, but the dark always returns. The fact that dark Exar Kun was returns. defeated didn't mean the Sith would never return, as they obviously have now. Everyone knows that. Then tell me what you know about the Sith, then. 
A Sith believes he commands the Force, but it is the dark side who commands him. You know this. There is little else I could truly add. But what happened during the war with Exar Kun then? That is not a pleasant time to remember. After Exar Kun fell to the dark side, he attempted to recruit other Jedi to his cause. What surprised us, what took us completely unprepared, was how utterly successful he was. Many Jedi joined him and became Sith themselves. Why they did, I, I will never truly know, but they did. Battle broke out throughout the Order, pupil against the Master. We fought ourselves. That must have been difficult, Joey. Yes, more than difficult. Next to impossible. How do you fight against someone you love? Fight against Fight someone you like love? Memories. It leaves a taste in the mouth that... Uh, it's a sadness I thought I'd put aside long ago. Ask me about the war some other time, just not now. I would prefer to be by myself for now. Okay, Joey. But I need to ask you something. Do you have a um, healing kit for me? How many could you possibly need? And besides, I don't have enough supplies on me to put some more together. Ask me later when you're actually in need and I'm less tired. I'm not a kit factory, you know. Right, I get it. Johnny, I need to ask you something. How may I be of assistance to you, Padawan? I was wondering if we could continue where we left off. What is it you would like to speak to me about? What happened after your father died? You mentioned he died during the fist fight. After my father died, my mother was left to support me alone. A single non-human woman living in one of the worst, most violent slums on Taras. It was not easy for her. What happened? When my father was killed, it seemed that something in her began to die as well. She worked. She worked as hard as she was able. Over time, she began to waste away. I later learned that she was unable to get enough money to feed both of us, and had to start borrowing from the exchange, a band of cutthroats and smugglers. But even that was not enough. She hid what she was doing from me. She gave most of her food to me so that I would be strong, My but God. she herself was suffering deeply from it. In the end, she could go on no longer, and collapsed at the cantina where she worked one day. How did she, did she die? She never recovered. There was nothing really that I could do for her. She left me no money, and no doctor would see her without being paid first. I sat by her bed for days as she lay there dying. I never want that to happen to someone I care about ever again. But there was still the money she had borrowed. She had never paid it back and made no provisions for her death. You must understand. The exchange is brutal. I uh, know. They care nothing for the life of a sentient being. They are the major suppliers of slaves on Taras. You were enslaved? I know things were... I know things in the underground were bad in Taras, but they were... But there were slaves there? You were enslaved? They thought it would be appropriate that, with my mother owing them money, the debt should be passed on to me. And with no way to pay, they took me by force. You have no idea what it is like to be bound like a beast and treated as such. It was the worst time of my life. They treated me like livestock. They were waiting for a buyer to give them some credits for me when the Jedi came to fight the Mandalorians. The, the Jedi freed you? The Jedi could not abide by what they saw there and drove the exchange from the face of the world freeing those of us imprisoned there. But the Jedi soon left to fight their war, and I was left with a dream. What was the dream, Johnny? I swore that I would become a Jedi. As soon as I had enough money to do it, I bought passage on a freighter headed for Dantooine. And we both know what has happened since then. Johnny? I am grateful to you for having given me the opportunity to fulfill my dream rather than become what I hated. Someday, you may welcome. I may make it up to you, but 
for now, let us keep on the task at hand. Of course, Johnny. I'm glad uh, things worked out this way. I'm really sorry about your parents. Don't worry, you'll be safe with us. So that's her story of how it all began and now the rest. No one should have to be treated like that. Alright, so let's head back to Tatooine. While we're on Tatooine, I'll be taking HK-47 with me and Kendra, so we should be able to get something. Our target should be on Tatooine. We search for a Krayt Dragon. I'll be taking HK-47 with me along with Kendra to find this guy. Though he is going to be dangerous, accompanied by a droid. Actually, I'll take T3 with me along with HK. Let's go. What the hell? What? What? What, what, happened? what happened? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us in the hyperspace room. We're caught in their tractor. Damn it! Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Sol Karif. Sol Karif. You mean your mentor? That Sol Karis' ship? <sighs> Malik must have tracked his Sif Apprentice's uh, ship's location. They've been waiting for us in the space of Manan, waiting for us to jump into hyperspace. Oh, great. We're about to be bored. Alright, Carve, tell them everything you know about Sarkav. This is the exact same story you told me. Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. And your son survived it? You can't let- don't let your lust for revenge cloud your judgment, Carve. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I, mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. I understand, Carve. Our escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. You're right. I'll admit it won't be easy. Saul's no fool. He won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. True. Maybe Admiral Carroll doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. Mm -hmm. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. True, but with Colin Orr being hired by the Sith after terrorists, he must have told about me, Carf, you, Basila, Mission, Salvar, and Kanders. But you're right, the Sith doesn't know how many of us are in here, and since after Delta Wayne we have Johanni, HK-47, and now Jolie, so in other words, they won't be able to know anything about it. Vasla, is there some way that you could use a balamentation here? The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. All right. Well, if we're going to pick some of the saber skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're going to have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Mission, you can... Mission can do it. No person can hold her. Maybe I can go to guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough... They might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. It's a risk 
We have to take Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry. I can pull this off. Mission. If you make the Sif man enough, they might just decide to just kill you. I don't like this plan. The decision is yours. You're in charge. But I know I can do this if you give me a chance. I know. Jolie? Maybe Jolie can, could use his force to affect their minds? I don't think I could use my force powers to convince a whole squadron of troopers to let me go free, but maybe I can use it to get them to take me to a separate cell. They'll probably only leave a single guard to watch over an old man like me. I could use the force to convince the guard to set me free, then I could free the rest of you. You're putting a lot of faith, a lot of, awful lot of faith in your ability to alter the mind slowly. I think we're going to need a better plan than that. I've learned a few things in my time here. Don't underestimate the force for one, but it's your call. If you want to try a different plan, go ahead. Okay. Okay, Starbar. Looks like this sounds like a job for a Wookiee. Is that wise? We need someone inconspicuous for this task. And Wookiees tend to draw a lot of attention. Especially from arresting troops. Uh, you're right. Which sucks. Fuck. Okay. Um. Kandros? Isn't there some way we could exploit your healing abilities? You could give me a shot to delay my healing mods from kicking in. A small incendiary grenade will leave burn marks that look like I was injured while making repairs to the ship. Mm. Make my wounds bad enough, and the Sith will drag me off to the morgue or the medical facility to die. When my healing mods kick in, I'll come back and save the rest of you. You're not immortal, Kenderus. You're not even a god. Your injuries could kill you before your healing abilities has a chance to kick in. We need a better plan than that. I'm the best chance we've got, and everyone knows it. But you're the boss, so I'll bow to your authority. I still think it's best, unless you come up with another plan. Mm -hmm. A joy would have a better chance, a best chance. HK-47 could come and rescue us. Statement. My construction includes a reserve memory chip and backup power supply that automatically kicks in if I have been shut down too long. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap, and I can come rescue the rest of you after I reactivate. What if the Sith disable you before you reserve power supply kicks in? Answer. That is possible. My reserve power supply is a prototype yet to be tested. Yet I can attempt this task, if you wish. No, we're going to need a better plan than that. Johanny, you can use your force powers and camouflage abilities that I've noticed in during our battles to avoid capture. You speak the truth. I alone of all the group might be able to remain hidden if the Sith search the ship. I could wait until the guards have completed their search, then come to rescue you. It's too much of a long shot, they'll find you. We're going to need another plan. I think you may be underestimating my abilities, but I will bow to your decision. Alright. T3 and 4 is a pretty resourceful little guy. He could actually pull this off. Sith will probably wipe his memory chips and take him to the junk pile. But if we can rig a backup memory chip with a timer, when it kicks in, the little fellow will be reactivated and he can come find us. Let's do it. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Alright, T3 and 4, good luck little guy. We're counting on you to rescue us. And the rest of you, stay in a while they while they're kidnapping while they're taking me Basla and carve to the ter interrogation room so it's from from what they're going to be doing with prisoners Months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognize you. 
But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my uncle. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand it. Casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. Your act of war killed? It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation. And the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. And you killed his wife and almost yes, killed his son in the process, you bastard. Until I proved that I truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, so and for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, but plenty words. Cling to your luck to revenge if you must, but, but spare me your time and threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. When Lord Malik is far more interested in your Jedi companion, he has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the dark side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Karath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the dark side is hard to resist, or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. You're wasting your time, Saul Karif. I would never betray the Jedi. I'd rather die than enjoy the dark side. You're defiant. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. Amusing? What the hell are you talking about? He may reward me if I just kill you once for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him. What? And the history between you. History? What the hell are you talking about? What do you know? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for him. What history? What is it? Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture field. What? <laughs> What? My loyalty is as true as Basilus? It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The Bastard? In now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. No! Don't hurt her, I beg of you! My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. I can't get what I want. The Jedi Academy in which you were trained. Basla, I'm sorry. Alderaan? It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet made of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Leave her alone, bastard! Enough. You see what happens when you try to defy me. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on down to weak. What? No. You lie! There's an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. No. You're lying. It can't be true. It isn't true. It doesn't matter whether you believe me or not. The fact remains that the Jedi on Tatooine have been eradicated, along with any hope of someone coming to rescue you. No. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? I, I can't. I won't. 
we have been sent to assassinate Lloyd Malick. Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise Damn such it. a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Basilar! No! Listen, can you not hear her suffering? You can spare her further pain by simply answering my question. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? I'm sorry, Paslo. I can no longer watch you suffer anymore. We were searching for the Star Forge. I'm sorry. Why? Why are you telling him this? You should be grateful, Bastila. He is sparing you agony beyond comprehension. Words that betray the Jedi Order bring me more pain than any torture ever could. Tell me, how did you find out about the Star Forge? Basta and I saw Revan and Mallow searching for it in our dreams. No! How could you betray the Jedi like this? I find your willingness to cooperate pleasing, though it seems your answers are quite upsetting to Basta. Not to worry. You no, will pay for the soul? The information you have given me has been most useful, but I fear our session is over. Lord Malik will want to continue with this line of questioning himself. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. So <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly, Harry. You might not be fully recovered yet. What the hell? And what happened, brother, had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out? They tortured all of us. Though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. Yeah, some sort of... The dark side has perverted his path. Once you start on the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. No hope is without a hope. No one is without hope of redemption, Basila. You know this? Yes. I suppose you're correct. Sometimes it's easy to such unbridled cruelty. But you speak of the truth. Yeah. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? <sighs> I know. I can't believe it. God damn it. Damn it. Fuck! It is just so hard to believe that they're all gone. I'd like to believe it's not lying to us. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. I do hope they survived as well. Sir, I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. Where is Saul, Karif, now? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It's my fault. I only wish I'm sorry. I'm able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information you have used not bring the entire galaxy into the dominion of the Sith. I'm sorry, Bastlaw. But I couldn't just let you. I couldn't just stand by and watch you get tortured to death. I appreciate your feelings for me, but you can't let your feelings override your judgment. Remember the Jedi Code: there is no emotion, there is peace. Your efforts were well intentioned, but poorly thought out. So will torture us all anyway. There is too much at stake to let reckless passion rule our actions. I am sorry, Pastor. I have failed you. I failed the Jedi. I didn't even know what else to do. Don't be so hard on yourself. I've known the Admiral for a long time. I could see that he already knew the end. That's just the questions he was asking. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was talking with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before Mount Buck arrived. I feared you might be right about that. A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. 
The Dr. Bart Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope T3M4 busts us out of here before he arrives. I believe in him, and looks like I'm going to need to be uh, doing the front seat of Hope and two. T3, I'm going in, I'm going to be helping you out to get out of this mess. Okay, so I think I figure out how to be able to help uh, T3 with. So, okay, let's start with one. like I miscalculated on that part. I'm going to be skipping all this so we can get to the part. I'm going to be skipping all this, folks, so hang tight. I'm going to be skipping all of this because we've already passed this. Why? You should be grateful. Words to be true. Tell me. No! I find you with the information you have given. I will leave you here. Don't try to. They tortured all? The dark side has... Yes. I suppose I'm... I'd like to believe... 
We should have felt a distance. I can only hope. None of them. So much in them. I only wish. I appreciate. Your efforts were well in. Don't be so. The interrogation. Did you feel that? Well, then we better hope. Alright, sorry about that folks, I had to skip all that part, so I hope you can forgive me on that part. Then we before we've been past that. So. <sighs> okay. All right, so. I'm going to have to figure all this shit out later, folks. Has gone spies, the spies sign off.